There's a documentary on Mubi uh, called uh, Cassandra the Exotico, um, which is directed by Marie Lossier. Um, and it's this very uh, intimate and interesting portrait of um, the Mexican, uh, American born Mexican wrestler who performs as a Cassandra the Exotico, uh, who we hear the story of his life. He had a very difficult childhood. He was bullied and, and abused, and he overcame substance addiction. And he became a celebrated luchador. He was one of a group of fighters, Mexican wrestlers, who used like cross-dressing costumes and camp humor and imagery to redefine essentially masculinity in this most theatrical sport. And we hear, we see archive footage, we see uh, interviews with him towards the end of his career. And because this is a this is a career that really, really sort of takes its toll. We hear about his costumes being inspired by Lady Diana's, uh, Princess Diana's uh, wedding dress, and that we hear him coming on stage to the music of uh, I Will Survive. In his prime, he looks like a kind of cross between a Knight Rider era David Hasselhoff and uh, something of the kind of the stagecraft of uh, of David Bowie and a little bit of the kind of that battered feeling of, of Mickey Rourke in The Wrestler, only, you know, much more glamorous and fabulous. And his mantra, which we, we hear in the footage is, I am not a victim, I am victorious. And it rings throughout this portrait, which is, you know, melancholy and affectionate. We watch him experience the highs and lows of, of this career, which has left him kind of physically battered, an extraordinary uh, number of, uh, of injuries. So, you know, he, we hear about eight concussions and pins in his legs and uh, all, I mean, this is, People talk about um, this wrestling being, you know, fake or whatever. There is absolutely nothing fake about the physicality of it, the the amount of the toll that it takes uh, on on the on the bodies of the wrestlers. We hear um, we hear him talking about how that there have always been uh, gay uh, wrestlers, but they used to be kind of portrayed as clowns. And what he was trying to do, he, he says that what he did was to prove that, in inverted commas, sexual diversity people can really kick some ass in the ring. And at times I was reminded of the tone of Jeannie Findlay's wonderful documentary, Orion, the Man Who Would Be King, which was another portrait of a kind of outrageous performer that celebrated and understood and empathized with its subject and what they were doing without ever resorting to kind of, uh, to, to any form of, uh, of cheap mockery. Um, here is a clip which is, in which he's talking about the significance of, of his hair. Here's his clip. I have lost my hair three times in 29 years. No. And that's the last one. No more. No more hair matches. Can you explain what is a hair match, Cassandro, please? A hair match? Well, me that I don't use a mask? Yes. The most valuable thing is my hair. And I, this gives me identity, gives me protection, gives me a lot of personality and everything. And the guys that use the mask, that's like their secret. They, they cannot lose their mask because you can, then you see the real identity. And uh, I mean, there's people that lose it and then their life falls apart, their career goes south, and, and there's people that enjoy it. So, I mean, as you can hear, it's a, it's a really engaging interview. There's, um, the, the, as I said, the, the documentary is about the highs and lows, the successes, the failures, the facing up to, to new realities. We see him now trying to pass on the skills to a new generation. There's a melancholia about, you know, that he's no longer in, in his prime. I thought it was a really interesting story. I, I wasn't aware of him before, and I thought... I just thought it was a really, really interesting documentary told with great compassion and, uh, you know, very funny, very moving, very charming and and also, you know, kind of rebellious and defiant. I, as I said, I, I, I absolutely love that thing that I am not a victim. I am victorious is his mantra. And uh, and he absolutely appears to live by it. It's called Cassandra the Exotico and it is on Mubi and it's directed by Marie Lossier.